Power line adapters can come in really useful when you want to extend a wired network connection throughout your home, but without that hassle of having to run new cable. But some people have some concerns around whether they use a lot of electricity, especially when they're plugged into the mains and always left powered on. You'll be pleased to hear this is definitely not something you need to worry about, as power line adapters actually use very little electricity. In this video, we'll take a look at what power line adapters are, how they work, how much electricity they use and how much you can expect to have to pay to run them. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from homenetworkgeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like and subscribe to the channel for more home networking content. So how exactly do power line adapters work? Let's take a look. If you aren't familiar with how power line adapters work, let me give you a quick rundown to bring you up to speed. Power line adapters are a quick, easy, and relatively affordable way of extending your network connection to areas of your home where your Wi-Fi signal may not necessarily reach. Rather than having to run new ethernet cable, power line adapters make use of the existing electrical wiring found within your walls to transmit the signal. It's really as easy as plugging them into an available outlet in the room of your home where you're looking to extend your connection. If you find yourself in any of the following situations, you could find power line adapters to be a very useful addition to your home network. Number one, you have a large home and a single router, so the Wi-Fi signal may not be strong enough to reach every room. Number two, you want a potentially faster network connection without having to run new ethernet cable everywhere. And finally, number three, you have devices that don't use Wi-Fi, but you still want to be able to connect to your network. So how much electricity do power line adapters really use? I did some research into this and came out pleasantly surprised as they actually use very, very little. Having compared several adapters from different reputable companies, I found they typically use between two and three watts of power. Some brands will use slightly more, others slightly less, but the difference is tiny and really not worth getting caught up on. The point is that power line adapters use very little electricity regardless of the make and model that you choose. If you're interested, I've put together a table comparing some of the more popular models of power line adapters and the maximum amount of power in watts that they will use. You can find a link to that in the description box below. So if power line adapters use very little electricity, how does this translate into how much they actually cost to run? It's really just a case of doing a bit of simple math, which I've done so you don't have to. I suspect you'll be glad to hear that running a pair of power line adapters cost less than a cup of coffee over the course of the entire year. Just as an example, let's assume your power line adapter uses two watts of power and is used for 10 hours every day. The average cost of electricity in the US is around 13.31 cents per kilowatt hour. With this in mind, our example adapter that uses two watts of power for 10 hours every day will cost just 0.0027 cents to run each day. Over an entire year, that's less than a single dollar. I bet you didn't expect them to be that cheap now, did you? Now, of course, the cost of electricity does vary depending on where you live in the world. So head on over to homenetworkgeek.com by following the link in the description below where you'll find the table I've put together so you've got an idea on how much you can expect to pay to run a single power line adapter based on where you live. Now don't get me wrong, power line adapters are incredibly cheap to run, but there are a few other expenses you need to keep in mind before incorporating them into your own home network. It's great to look at them and see they cost around a dollar to run for an entire year, but don't forget you actually have to make the initial purchase of the adapters themselves. Prices can vary depending on the make and model that you choose, but you can expect to pay between 40 and 90 dollars for a pair of power line adapters. Notice I said pair there, and the reason for that is because power line networking requires at least two power line adapters to function. Thankfully, most manufacturers will provide two adapters in a single package as a way to get you up and running. This of course means that the approximate 0.97 cents to run a single power line adapter in the US immediately doubles. Still, this is not a huge expense, and the use you get out of your power line adapters will no doubt negate the running costs pretty quickly. Power line adapters are certainly a cheap way of extending the network connection in your home. You just have to get over that initial hurdle of purchasing them in the first place. After that, it should be plain sailing in terms of your running costs. If you fear that having a few power line adapters plugged in uh, will see your electricity usage skyrocket and your energy bills go through the roof, 
you simply don't need to worry. They use next to no electricity and they cost an almost unnoticeable amount to run. So I hope you found this video helpful and can now see how power line adapters are very energy efficient and very affordable to run. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up with everything home networking. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.